Hey everybody, welcome to T. Roy Cooks. Appreciate you joining us again. Tell you what, man, I hadn't done anything on the flip-flop grill in quite some time. I thought I would show you how I actually cook a steak on the flip-flop grill. And if you're not familiar with the flip-flop grill, it's fantastic for chicken. I got a video up here I put up there for the flip-flop grill doing chicken uh, thighs, I believe it was I did. Anyway, y'all click show more beneath the video. It'll open the description box. You can find all kind of links and stuff down there, along with my social media and all that. But uh, I wanted to do this steak video for you on the flip-flop grill. I've had some requests for it, and I thought I would check it out. I've actually never cooked a steak on the flip-flop grill, so we're going to learn together as we go. But I also want, y'all know, I love the meat from Lil Bells of New York, lilbells.com. And it was my birthday, May the 18th, and I, you know, I sign up for the newsletters. I get a newsletter once a week from them, and also I buy stuff on my own from them, you know, because they got fantastic meat, folks. But uh, when it's your birthday, they offer you a free steak. This year, it was an 8-ounce filet mignon, okay? I went ahead and uh, got the 8-ounce filet mignon for my birthday. Actually, I'm going to cook this for Karen. She likes filet mignon. What I got, I got a 28-ounce bone-in ribeye steak for myself. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> anyway, gorgeous steak, folks. Fixing to cut these open, let them bloom for like 15, 20 minutes. I'm getting my coals going over here, so we'll be cooking real soon. Y'all stick around. All right, gang. I got my coals already arranged in here. Just lay them out flat. And, uh, you know, once they get ashy, lay them out flat in there. And I put a piece of foil, shiny side up, to reflect the heat up. I uh, also put the grill on here for like five minutes on each side. Scrub it down, make sure you ain't got no junk on there, you know. Just gonna go ahead and put these on. I'm gonna tell you what, that's like a two and a quarter inch thick ribeye right there, folks. My word. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if we can get this on here. I'm gonna have to squeeze it in. Oh yeah, it's gonna work. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if it's gonna work or not. That's a thick steak, man. I think we're good though. There we go. Got it squeezed in there. Put this on, just like so. There we go. I don't know how long it's gonna take. I've never done a steak on it. We're gonna check it out. We'll be back when I flip it. I'll let you know how soon it was. All right, folks, it's been 15 minutes. Uh, again, this, is, this isn't like re a reverse sear type cook because the coals are way down here. You don't get a lot of flame up on this flip and flop grill. This is, again, great for chicken because of that. But it's like a reverse sear on steaks, from what I'm finding out. Let's flip this thing over. Let's see what we got here. Uh, beautiful crust, and the bacon and stuff's really coming around on this filet over here. And uh, oh, I got some new gloves, folks. Y'all check these out. These are working really great for me. And they've got the heat resistant uh, stuff on the inside there. Really, really nice. And this, whatever this is, it helps you grip stuff, man. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, nice, nice. Let this go another 10 minutes. We'll probe it. We'll see what the internal temp is because I don't want to overcook this. We'll be back shortly. All right, gang. Let's check the temp. Let's see where we're at. It's going to go in this way right here. Temp uh, 122 right there. Let's check this filet. What right, filet is tender. Uh, 132. Karen likes hers uh, more well done, like medium well. I like mine more rare. What was it again? 127 right there. Folks, I'm thinking that's pretty close to being done right there. Let's flip these over. Let's see, uh, let's see what it looks like. Hmm, this side doesn't look as pretty, but again, you know, this is a flip-flop grill, so you're kind of kind of doing like a reverse sear. I'm going to let this go maybe another three to five minutes. We'll pull it off. It's been three minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, pull these off. See what the other side looks like. Looks really nice. Let's see if we can get this opened up here. And... Get us some, some steaks. Ain't that pretty? Yes, indeed. 
Now, what I've done, I've gone ahead and fired up my gas grill, my DCS gas grill over here on my back porch, and uh, we're going to we're going to sear these steaks. All right, folks, my grill is screaming hot. That steak on that one. That steak over there. Just give these a couple of minutes on each side. Maybe not even, you know, maybe a minute on each side, actually. And let's see if we can get this thing going. And as you can see, the sun is directly behind the camera. So we got some weird, weird stuff happening with the shadows. Anyway, we'll do this for like a minute. Flip it over, bring you back. Our mine's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and flip my ribeye over. There we go. Karen, again, likes hers more well to medium well, so I'm going to let that go a little bit longer. And I'll probably turn it on the side and let the bacon crisp up a little bit because she likes her bacon crispy. So we're going to do that. I'm going to let this go for like 30, 45 seconds or so more here, and we'll pull it off. And I'll flip this in over here after uh, about a minute or so. We'll be back, folks. We'll show you inside what it looks like. All right, folks. I got this grill pin in here holding this bacon on Karen's steak. Let's check out, see how Karen's steak turned out. Cut it right down the middle. And again, she likes hers medium well. That looks like medium well. More like well, but she'll eat it. She loves it. All right, let me cut up my steak. See how that looks. All right, guys, let's check out my steak here. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? I'll tell you what, that's this, the buttery, nutty smell from dry aged is, that's good stuff. That's really good stuff, folks. Mm, I don't want to cut this. Oh, heck. Let's just go straight down. Let's just go straight down. There. Let's see what this looks like. Hopefully I didn't overcook it. Yeah, you know. Slightly overcooked, but it's going to eat good. Really good. Let's Let's see if we can taste this. I want a piece of this rib cap right here, folks. That's my favorite part. How's yours, Karen? Is it good? Great. Fabulous. All right, let's taste this rib cap, folks. All right, folks, here we go. Nice rib off Lobel's of New York. Lobel's doesn't know I'm doing this video, so seriously. I plug them because I love the meat from Low Bells. I never freeze their meat. Hmm. Sign up for the newsletter. Order you some beef. Put your birthday in there. They'll send you some nice fillet steak. It's delicious. Oh, that's so good. So tender. Love that dry aged flavor, folks. Hope y'all like this. Check out the links down below for that flip flop grill. Uh, give me a thumbs up if y'all like this. Hope you share the video, and when you do, please tell all your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. Cheers, everybody.